Well, wheat is one of the three major cereals of the world. It's well adapted to many, many different environments. And for this reason, it's become a primary foodstuff for many, many different communities in the world, both in the developing world and in the developed world. Oh, well, I know I'd certainly disagree with that. <laughs> I think wheat is an, an enormously complex cereal, enormously complex genetically. And wheat has many different ancestral species. In fact, wheat itself is a combination of three different species. And at least for two of those, we have significant genetic variation still in the environment, some of it not even collected, much of it in gene banks, much of it uncharacterized in gene banks. So there are potentially all sorts of new gene combinations that may play a role in, in, uh, in providing um, the genetic means to overcome stresses in the future, Fu current stresses and future stresses. So I, I totally disagree. I just don't think we've done a really good job as plant scientists and plant breeders, or the job it, 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 as well as we could have done in utilizing all that diversity. So there's a lot of diversity there, a lot of work to be done, a lot of skills needed. I think that's a, a little more limited. I, I think you, you will find wheat from the equator to 60 degrees north of the equator. It's spread in most of the environments where I think it's possible to grow wheat. Now, where you might spread could be into some of the more tropical environments, but my and, and you can, you can improve the adaptation of wheat in more tropical environments. But the issue is, why would you grow wheat? Why not grow maize or, or some other better adapted cereal? So uh, I think the, the actual spread or adap the current spread of wheat in the world, the current spread of environments is unlikely to change. What we need to do is increase the productivity in those environments. 